My name is Thorax, and this is Strategy for Busy People. If you've got a few minutes, I'll tell you what to play. In this SPP review, we're looking at Armello by League of Geeks. I've got about 90 minutes in this game. I like board games. I don't mind digital board games. I am totally cool with card games. In fact, I used to play quite a few of them. I even still have my Rage and Legend of the Five Rings cards. I don't mind particularly complex board games. I mean, not everything has to be Supremacy or Game of Thrones, but Catan isn't exactly trivial to play. In fact, let's compare Armella to Catan for a moment. Multiple players? Check. Cards? Check. Dice? Check. Different strategies to achieve a win? Check. So why did I hate Armello so much? Armello looks wonderful. The art style is beautiful. The user interface is great. Clearly, League of Geeks understood what it meant to be a digital first board game. But looking good and being easy to use interface wise isn't enough. When I was going through the tutorial, things seemed good. The first tutorial made sense. It introduced you to one of the characters, gave you some mechanics, and you moved on. But the fact that I essentially failed two of the four tutorials and the game had to do me favors was an immediate sign that things were about to go wrong. And at the very end of the last tutorial, the game essentially says, Oh hey, here are all the ways to win, okay bye, have fun, and throws you off a cliff. Then, on my first playthrough, suddenly I have all these options that are put together that don't necessarily make any sense, I still feel bewildered from being thrown off the tutorial cliff into the waters, and I've got to play a full game. Well, let's give it a try. And it's just completely overwhelming. I really don't know what's going on. I can barely remember the different strategies to win. I'm getting my butt handed to me by every other player on the board. I don't recall how important getting to the mission objectives are. And I just gave up. In fact, most of my playtime is the tutorial, and not even my lame, lousy attempt at a game playthrough. An acquaintance of mine said, Oh man, Armello, I love that game. I have over 70 hours in it. And that's great for that person. They must love board games. They must have been willing to sit with this game and more clearly figure out all the complexities and strategies. And they also said they had a great time playing it with friends. But I don't have any friends. That's why I review video games on YouTube. On my trademarked three-point score scale of avoid, meh, and I forgot to eat, this game is definitely an avoid for me.